Hi everyone, this is Indra. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to solve a problem related with three figure bearing. Uh, here, let me read the question. The question is the bearing of the point A from the point B is here given as a 60 degree. Then we have to find out the bearing of the point B from A without using a protector. Here, I would solve this question by the basic concept of three figure bearing. The three figure bearing is also called as the true bearing. Please watch this video till the end. Okay. Here, uh, first of all, we have to focus this ore from B. So, uh, at the point B, we have to make the north pole. Let me make the north pole at the point B. Okay, first of all, let me mark a point B. This black point represents the point B. Okay, let me name this. This is just the point B. Okay, and at this point B, we have to make the north pole. Okay, let me make, uh, let me construct the north pole at this point B. Very perpendicular. The north pole should be very perpendicular. Let us say this is the point B. Here we have first uh, marked the point B. Point B and then at that point we have uh, made here the North Pole. This is just the North Pole. Okay, let me name the North Pole by capital N. Capital N represents the North Pole. Okay. Here and here the point A anywhere here. Let me mark the point A. Let me use the next color. Okay, let me mark the point A. Okay, let's say this is the point A. Let me name this point by A. This is just the point A. And here the bearing of this point A is given from the point B. Here the reference point is point B. So we have to first connect this point A to the point B. Okay. Here in this step we have just connected these two points. The bearing of the point A is given and the bearing is here. Uh, the point A, okay, here the bearing of this point A from B is given as a 60 degree. Okay, let me mark. And the, uh, remember that this 0 60 degree is a three figure bearing. It is written in three digits. It is three figure bearing and three figure bearing also called as the true bearing. It is always measured from the north pole in clockwise direction okay so the 60 degree will be this angle the angle the three figure bearing is always measured from the north pole in clockwise direction not in counter clockwise direction always in clockwise direction okay and this angle is here given as a 60 degree okay let me mark here 60 in degree measurement okay uh, this is just the bearing of the point A from the point B. And uh, our question is, our target is to find the bearing of this point B from the point A. So here is the word uh, from, here is the word, we can see the from uh, word. So uh, we have to make the another north pole at the point, at the point A. Okay, let me just make the north pole at this point A. North pole, very perpendicular. Okay. Here I have just made the north pole at this point A also. Okay, uh, and the here uh, the question is bearing of this point B from the point A. The three figure bearing is always measured from this north pole. Okay, let me mark this pole as the north pole by capital N. And the three figure bearing is always measured from the north pole, from the north pole in clockwise direction. So we have to find out the magnitude of this angle. We have to find out the magnitude of this angle. This is just the bearing of this point B from A. Uh, the three figure bearing is always measured from the north pole in clockwise direction, not in counterclockwise direction. Please remember that point. 
okay we we have to find out this angle okay uh, so let me just uh, extend this north pole let me extend okay here i have just extended and here also here okay here in this step i have uh, here in this step so let me just okay here in this step i have just extended the north poles and these north poles are parallel to each others so by using the concept of the parallel lines here we can see the ab line segment ab is here taken as the transversal and between these two parallel lines the transversal uh, ab is here and these angles are alternate angles here let me mark these angles these angles are alternate angles and we know that the alternate angles are always equal uh, alternate angles means just the z pattern angle they are always equal so this angle is just 60 degree okay let me write here this angle will be just the same angle 60 degree because the alternate angle always equal this angles also be 60 degree we need this angle this whole angle we need this angle here uh, this total angle is just the uh, 180 degree plus 60 degree this is the straight angle let me mark the straight angle here this is just the straight angle this is straight angle which is 180 degree and the total angle this total angle will be this total angle will be the total angle will be 180 degree plus 60 degree okay the final answer uh, let me type here the bearing of uh, the point B from the point A okay, let me here will be which is equals to just 180 degree 180 degree uh, plus this 60 degree and this is just uh, equals to uh, this will be equals to how much 240 degree okay uh, 240 in the degree measurement at the bearing of uh, the point B from the A is here calculated as a 240 degree. This means uh, this uh, angle is uh, the angle 240 degree is formed uh, from the north pole in clockwise direction where the bearing is here calculated as a 240 degree. So this is the final answer of this question here we have uh, solved this question without using protector by using the concept of geometry okay in our next video we will discuss more about such types of the questions so please keep watching keep loving this channel and don't forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for immediate notification of all the uploaded videos from this channel this much for today thank you